Good morning, everybody. Today I am going to propagate my Thai basil. This is the Thai basil right here. You can see it's getting really bushy for this small compact area. Thai basil grows really easily and it's very easy to root. So just a couple of simple steps. I'm going to show you since it's bushy, I'm going to trim the area down here and then just root these guys. So I'm going to go all the way down cut. Basically, I'm just pruning it back a little bit because you can see it's trying to overtake my my little, I guess, herb garden. So I'm just going to take off a whole bunch just to get some light and make it a little bit more airy so it's not spreading all over my garden. So you can see it's trying to squish this pepper over here. So just gonna trim it back a little. There we go. So I want to let it grow on this side because it's not intruding on anything. But over here it opens up a little bit more once I did that. So then with all of these new cutting that I take. Oh, it smells so good and so fresh, you guys. So you can use this on any... Well, I use this on my Vietnamese dish. Uh, fa soup and spring rolls any kind of rolls they are amazing with it I'm gonna bring it over here where there's a little pot that I've got all set up this is the pot I have all set up so I'm gonna go in so you want to root where there's a node so I'm gonna cut here Here's a node right here. This is where the new stem is growing. So those are nodes, so I'll strip it. I'll probably do it down to the second one. Although you don't need to, one would be enough. I'll probably go here. And then where it flowers right here, I'm gonna cut it off. You can cut it as far down as you want. So I'm just gonna take that off. And then I usually just take off the main leaves, leave the little shoots. These shoots will create the larger, bigger branch. But because you're rooting, you don't want to leave too many leaves on. Because it'll use up more energy than what you would want. So I usually go in and cut off all the main leaves. And it will send up new leaves so you don't have to worry. So, I mean, a lot of people might even think this is too much. But I'll stick it in here anyways. And let it root. So, this medium is just topsoil. Um, they root so readily they're not picky. So, this one I'll just trim all the way. Actually, I might go up here a little bit more. Just take that off. Now, everything that I'm taking off right now, if I was making some kind of Asian dish or any kind of dish, I guess, the Thai basil is really good, amazing. I would save all these leaves for eating purposes. So I think I'm just going to cut this off. You can even do this without those pruning shears. And you can e actually turn this into two cuttings if you want, but I, as you can see, I have enough cutting that I don't really have to do that. I'm just going to stick it in. And... See, if you cut it like that, 
you can actually use two of them so these are two good viable source you just have to strip this one down here and then just stick it in like this taking off the outer leaves that are bigger and just leaving the little tiny one so that would be a good one you can stick in the ground but like I said I have a lot so I can I don't have to be as picky now other plants that I don't have enough of I will actually save every single little bit these guys almost have too much leaves so I'll go in just remove And then just stick that in the ground or you can take that off and even stick this whole thing in the ground hi basil mm. looks like something was chewing on the leaves over here now you can even snap them off they snap off really easily just have to make sure you don't take those down this is a little bit more hardier if you go to the top, it's not as, doesn't have the hardy apart. This one's pretty hardy. Sometimes the hardier one, the woodier part, doesn't do so well. Because see how this is already branching out to second and third set of leaves? Sometimes they do okay, other times they don't. But this way I can get more and I can share with family and friends this one's almost too big see how this has those side shoots Maybe I'll just save those side shoots that one doesn't want to snap off so I'm just gonna cut it off stick it in see how it takes There's the So look at how big and nice these leaves are. It smells so fresh. And I'm just gonna top the flower off so it doesn't waste its energy on there. So the ones that you have, of course, more leaves, just take them off. Use them in your soup. Can't wait till winter. Of course, pho soup, you can eat at any time. My husband's trying to corral the dogs or something. We have the chickens out letting them roam around. Sometimes those dogs get a little crazy. So I always tip it off right there. And this one is a really nice one. Just put it down. Nothing like fresh herbs in the morning. I'm going to leave one leaf on them, this one. Some of the leaves are super big, like look at that. It's almost as big as the palm of my hand. Must have been healthy. Really likes whatever fertilizer I used on that. So just taking off the outer leaves, leaving the actual little tiny new stems. See how it created these new stems? But then it has a main leaf out here. I just take those off so it doesn't soak up 
uh, the energy and nutrients that it needs to root. There you go. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight viable plants. I'm going to go put this in the shady area underneath the tree and then just make sure I keep it moist and then it's going to root some more for me. Very easy, very simple. Hope you guys have a great day today. Looks like it's going to be beautiful today. So now come back looking at the main one. It still looks good. It's going to probably uh, grow some more since I pruned it back some. I usually come in and deadhead out the flowers because I want it to send more nutrients to the leaves than the flower. The basil, of course, you use the leaves. So see how it sends out once you top it off here. If you top it off here, it's going to send out these side shoots here. That's going to start growing from the side, just like this guy over here. I top it off right there, and it sends out all these new side shoots. So from where you top, there's like four or five more that keeps on coming. So don't be afraid to prune it back just by taking off its head. Just getting rid of the flower so it doesn't send energy into the flower, but to the leaves. And then here's my, I think these are the Thai chili peppers. They're really good. I really like them. I eat them pretty much with anything. I like them when they're green. They're not as spicy. You can see down here some are super red. It means it's getting spicier. So those ones I'm going to have to take off. Give it to friends or family that really like spicy. But look at all the flowers up here. It's all the flowers. See all those little tiny white flowers that are in bloom? It'll put out new, new peppers. Like this little tiny one right here. You see it? That one has a little stamina, I guess is what you call them. And then out comes a pepper, just like this one. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a tiny little one right here. See, and there's that little stamina right there at the tip. Yeah, so that is it, you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye.